This is Radio Caroline on 199, England's first commercial radio station. Why are MPs campaigning to bring the pirates into the mainstream? Good evening. Broadcasting from a ship in the North Sea, the pirate radio station sparked a brash cultural revolution which is still going on. Radio Caroline still broadcasts from Kent and a local MP is campaigning for them to be brought onto mainstream radio. Linda Hardy reports. The innocent-looking ex-ferryboat Caroline is causing quite a stir in official circles. They were the pirates of the airwaves back in the 60s, bringing rock music to over half the population of Britain in a time of mainly speech radio. <laughs> Much to the government's disgust... I don't believe at all that uh, the public wouldn't support action to enforce the law. Millions of kids have learned to say, I love Caroline on 199, and they... Denied radio licences, the DJs broadcast from the seas surrounding the UK. But now Chatham's MP is campaigning to bring the station back into the mainstream with a medium wave frequency. I have a huge affection, as do many of its listeners, for Radio Caroline. Uh, my dad was a very keen listener, an amateur, disc jockey and so it's something I've grown up with uh, and I'm keen to support the campaign. Nowadays the rebel radio station broadcasts on land from these studios in Strood on satellite airwaves. We didn't go and put a radio station on a boat because we particularly like boats. We put a radio station on a boat because it was at that time the only way of having a commercial music radio station. Uh, there was a certain romance to it of course but we no longer need to do that. Um, medium wave is perfectly usable, durable, it's reliable, and what's more, we know how to do it. One of the station's first DJs believes there is still an appetite for Caroline out there. There's a bit of the rebel in all of us, I suppose, and Caroline always has had that rebel image, it's never shaken it. Uh, and I guess everyone likes to be a bit anti-establishment, and even if it's given a, a legal licence, there will still be a bit of naughtiness, I think, about listening to Radio Caroline, as there always was. You're listening to Radio the story of Radio Caroline and other pirate stations' success inspired last year's film. And in just a few weeks' time, it could be granted a medium wave frequency to once again broadcast from the boat. The Hardy reporting there, and we can join Linda now in the Medway Towns. And Linda, uh, is, there, is there a great deal of support then growing for this campaign? Well, there is actually, Rob, 51 signatures so far supporting this early day motion for the frequency. And that in itself illustrates an interesting irony, as it was because of the government at the time that Radio Caroline started broadcasting from a boat, effectively hijacking a medium wave frequency from the seas because it wasn't allowed to broadcast from the land. However, MPs from today's government are actively trying to give them that medium wave frequency, though this time officially. OK, Linda, thank you.